the idea that Columbus discovered America, that's a myth like other myths. To disbelieve that, it's almost like believing the Earth has to be flat in the face of all the evidence we have. There's no doubt Native Americans were already here when Columbus arrived. The Bering Strait Land Bridge theory suggests their ancestors crossed from Asia to North America 18,000 years ago during the last ice age, when a strip of land connected the two continents. Columbus only got credit for the discovery of the new world because in Europe's eyes, the land was ripe for the taking. Columbus opened a new era of economic exploitation, and that's what made it significant, that were the economic markets that were opened up in Europe because of what the New World had to offer. Europe was awestruck, and Columbus was revered. Historians credited him with the discovery of America. But today, a new history begins, and it starts on the other side of the globe. China. 1421, 71 years before Columbus. Elsewhere in the world, it's the rise of the Aztec Empire in Central America, and Joan of Arc will soon lead the French in the Hundred Years' War. In China, it's the Ming Dynasty. Under Emperor Zhu Di, Admiral Zheng He is in command of what would become the largest maritime fleet in the world. The Chinese, around the year 1400, were the world's greatest maritime power with the world's most impressive and magnificent ships. These ships had watertight bulkheads, which made them practically unsinkable. The largest of Zheng He's ships were said to be 400 feet long and able to carry 1,500 tons and a crew of 500 men, flanked by dozens of smaller ships carrying water, food, and supplies. Even his entourage was worthy of envy. They had holes in which they had live fish, they had coops of chickens, they had rice growing in tubs, they had bean shoots for vitamins. Had they set their mind to it, I think they could have gone anywhere. There is no question Zheng He's fleet traveled from Nanjing, China, to Sumatra, India, Iran and the coast of Africa, establishing foreign relations and expanding trade. But why stop there? This strange map drawn by renowned cartographer Father Morrow in 1459 